Wavy TV, the Wavy's channel on the tube. We'll be back with another reaction video. Today we reacting to spiritual self. So Illuminati, all that, whatever you call them, gazing, gazing. Talking about Generation Z and about how these celebrities are just like spiraling down. So like, you about to see, you about to get into it. So let me tell y'all this. What we know of as a celebrity is gone. Gen Z, y'all need to get ready. Y'all need to be prepared. It's going to come a point in time, y'all will be running-ish. And I'm trying to tell y'all right now, every cycle repeats itself. Every cycle, it always repeats itself. Bro, listen, these motherfuckers that's running this matrix, and I want y'all to listen to me carefully, they have lost the grip of reality that they were setting for us. It is no longer in their power. It is no longer in their control. So y'all gonna keep having to see destruction, distraction, destruction, trauma, more fear, trauma at an all-time high. If you can literally take away social media and all technology for a month, these demons that call we call celebrities will literally have to go out and literally brutally murder people to get their energy. They will have to literally go in front of your face and literally do stuff to get their energy. But since they got this social media and technology, they can absorb it through the ether. They can absorb it through your emotions, through your frequency, through your vibration. They, they figured out different ways to take from you without having to do it physically all the time. Now, let me tell y'all this. Gen Z's, it's gonna come a point in time when y'all time get here and y'all running the show. Y'all see, first of all, a lot of stuff that y'all dealing with didn't even exist to 2017, 2018. Bro, listen, I swear for God, when only when only fans came, what in 2017-2018, only fans came, right? This is when we seen the most drop and most thought thoughtful women came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, a surge of just bro, my niggas hoes everywhere. Everywhere. Can't lie. Everywhere. <laughs> Look, it's out. Man, I, I remember I had crushes on certain females, bro. They and this ain't a young thing. These bitches is in their 30s making only fans, bro. Go to motionarray.com and enter a world with over 2 million creative assets to bring your vision to life. When you jump in, you'll find video templates, music, sound effects, footage, plugins, and more. Get ready to use titles and motion graphics and just drag and drop them into your video like this fireball. Dramatic animations, cinematic music to soundtrack your videos, cool transitions like this one, and on-point sound effects that make all the difference. Discover the biggest creative asset marketplace for creators, and take your video content from good to the best with MotionArray.com. Boost your revenue and drive growth with Google Ads. Reach high-value customers across the entire Google network, like search, shopping, YouTube, and more. Get started today. Okay, okay, back to the video, back to the video, back to the video. Back to the video. Like... The, the LGBTQ, like, no, 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 listen, no disrespect, y'all know, I know y'all motherfucking like, sensitive as a mother. But listen, y'all creating different letters and alphabets and shit, y'all changing the genders and frequencies and vibrations, y'all creating different humans and species, none of this shit existed before 2015, 2016. Yeah, you still had drag queens, and you still had trainees, but it wasn't like this. Like, bro, how come every trainee want to be a bad bitch when they transition over? Why you can't just be a regular woman? Because you just always wanted to be a bad bitch. Like, a lot of shit that y'all are dealing with, a lot of stuff that's here, it just now came. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm, come, I'm from a generation, I got a chance to see all this shit switch over. Most of us did. But listen, put that to the side, because this is not about them. It's hard for them to control everything right now. They can't control nothing. Bro, listen, it's hard for them to create an organic celebrity. This is why they're looking at us YouTubers and streamers now like, oh, my God. Now they're trying to figure out ways to get us to come along with them. That's why I told y'all, y'all need to protect y'all energy, protect y'all narratives. Y'all streamers, YouTubers, sometimes they're going to try to buy y'all out. 
they trying to switch to the people who have voices now because a regular celebrity can no longer has power. Like, bro, everything about a celebrity has always been controlled, right? Even a social media post, some of them don't even post themselves. Do you know how quick a perfect celebrity the next day can be looked at as a demon, bro? Mm. A perfect celebrity, literally in a split second, let her do something wrong, anything, or him. Then they hold comments, everything about their brand would be flooded with hate. That is true, like, opinions do change overnight. And it affects it, bro. Beyonce lost five, six million followers in one week. Beyonce, bro, Drake, he dropped about 10 songs since the Kendrick beef, and I can't name not one. We talk about the goats. People looking at Jay Z crazy now. People looking at Jay Z like he did it. You get what I'm saying? Taylor Swift, people was on her head because she went Camilla and all this. And now, if y'all pay attention, People don't let go now. Like, people is stuck on the negative about every celebrity. So when we see Trump and Camilla and they use a celebrity, people looking at it now like, bro, these, bro, they fake. They don't know nothing about people really taking it in. Like, they look like puppets. They look like bots. They look like items because they we know they don't know nothing about politics. A celebrity of what a celebrity was always used to put in work, to set agendas, to change the mind, to change the frequency, to make you get surgeries, to make you do this, to make you do that. They use celebrities. They are perfect. Bro, listen. The influence that celebrities have is changing. Most people over the age of 25, can, like if you could turn all the comments off from all kids for a month, you would literally get a chance to see how adults feel about celebrities. Most of them Bro, if you look at the comments, most of it get buried by kids and fan worship. But most people over the age of 25 are sick and tired of all these celebrities, bro. Sick and tired of the thoughts. Sick and tired of all of the... Bro, I told y'all, even the gays is dropping videos about the LGBTQ community. Because the LGBTQ community has nothing to do with y'all. It has everything to do with changing kids. They always have. But look, it is so hard to create a celebrity right now. Most of the goats that we looked at as gods, bro, people are looking down at them now. How is it possible for Beyonce to be so vulnerable online now? She was like immortal. She lost five, six million. That's not normal, bro. In one week, five, six million? In one week? That's not normal. That's a lot of people. Bro, that type of people could change the whole frequency of the matrix. They losing control. So Gen Z, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all time, bro, it's going to have to be more fear and destruction now. And they're going to have to figure out a different way to create a celebrity. They're going to have to come and try to grab streamers, people who really, podcasters, people who really have voices will start to be put in celebrity roles. So you're going to start hearing more podcasters who never said anything about politics or nothing. You're going to start noticing they bought out. You're going to start seeing streamers who, who never... You're going to start noticing they bought out. Y'all going to start seeing this more and more and more. Before, they didn't have to do none of that. They could just easily get a rapper or a singer. But now that don't even work because the influence that a rapper or singers and all that have is fake. Everything we know about y'all has always been fake. Bro, you, this is why now, if y'all notice, it's so hard for them to create an organic celebrity. Now they just going to grab anybody who have a viral moment and trying to turn them into something. And then they fall off in a one year or a, a two years because they never grinded organically. They was never supposed to have been put in that position. They have planned. You get what I'm saying? Now people dropping videos, we know the streams is fake. How is this guy has the number one song and all these hit songs all on the charts but can't sell out shows? Stuff not adding up. People looking at it now because they create these players, these celebrities. They create them. They make sure they don't say this. They make sure they don't say that. They brand them in a way it's all fake. That's why a celebrity can't come out and just be vulnerable and speak their mind, talk about how frustrated they are, blah, 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 blah. If they start speaking their mind, they're going to them, make them look crazy, put them in mental institutions. Now, people don't care. 
Now everything, like now celebrities, y'all can't even put the hidden symbols and stuff in y'all videos no more because people was breaking down that and it's got millions and billions of views all on TikTok. It's hard for y'all to do anything. Y'all all walking on a slippery slope. It is the end of what you know as a celebrity. So if they losing celebrities, they have to cause way more traumatic trauma to consciousness in different ways. They have to figure out ways. Gen Z's, y'all starting to lose that connection, that interaction with human life. Like, most of y'all is just at home 24-7. Ah! Y'all girls, too. Like, most of y'all girls is, y'all do y'all self-pleasuring yourself 24-7 for content. When is the last time you actually had a real man? You don't even talk to man in real life. Everything is online. Like, bro, most Gen Z's, it's important for y'all to know who y'all are. Especially y'all, we got little siblings. Let them know, bro. When we was younger, me, for example, I was a hooper. So I looked up to LeBron. I looked up to Kobe. They was gods to me. I wanted to be like them. They gave me my spark as a little guy. But I didn't have no influence to tell me I was, wait, I could be more. I could be more than this. I could be more than that. It's a possibility I might not make it to the NBA. You can do this. You can do that. No, but I didn't have that. That's the same way. That's, that's I, I, I could reiterate on that and be like, Hey, I had that influence too. I was good at boxing, you know. I was good at boxing. Everybody was telling me, "Hey, don't turn pro, don't turn pro. Go get an education, go get an education." Like graduated high school, ain't go to college or nothing. Just started doing entrepreneurship. You know? Like you write about that, yeah. You write about that. You could be more out here. You could be more. Oh, bro, it's important for you to start talking to your little siblings. They look up to Lamar Jackson, mm -hmm. you know, Patrick Mahomes. Most young girls, they look up to Ice Spice, Cardi B's. They look up to Beyonce. They look up to Taylor Swift. Start letting them know you can sing better than them. You can do way better than them. Plant the seeds. Yes, kids still going to be on that worship. They do it to YouTubers and streamers 24-7, right? But as they get older, they start, their consciousness will start changing. They start really believing in themselves. They get this motivation, this spark. Like, man, it's always been planted since they was a kid. Remember, everything you did when you was a kid is affecting you right now. Childhood trauma. Childhood trauma is real. It's controlling your, your whole outlook on life. Little do you know what you went through when you was a kid. A lot of traumas, a lot of narratives, a lot of stuff has been placed on us. Religions, all type of stuff from our parents. Gen Z's, it's important for you to really understand how you need to start going outside. Y'all literally need to start doing stuff outside of social media. Like, like bro, y'all think I'm playing. Listen, uh, listen, it was a streamer and a YouTuber who was are having an argument. I dropped about, I talked about this on my main channel. I think the video got over a million views. They was having an argument. The streamer was saying, it's okay for a 12 year old to start having children and to mess with older men. And the YouTuber was saying, it's okay for kids to change their genders, right? To change their body parts. Bro, I won't be surprised eventually if, bro, fuck around with y'all Gen Z's. I won't be surprised if the bell shit is legal eventually. Like, bro, y'all have, like, dog, y'all have no clue how vulnerable y'all is in the next five, ten years. It is ridiculous. And like I told y'all, the more celebrities lose power, the more they got to come with the most weird shit. And when they get human going against human, when they get... Us going against each other, that's when they can finally scoop in and take over. That's why I said cycles always repeat itself. Y'all are watching the end of a cycle. You are watching people you look up to fall. You are watching people who was considered goats fall. You are watching people who had voices get silenced. The music is changing. It's watered down now. Every If you look at the charts... Now people, the, the 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 genres, you got a lot of country songs, a lot of a lot. I remember at one point it was just always the hip hop that was just running everything. Now if you start paying attention to the charts, you're starting to see different genres starting to take over. The frequency and the vibration is changing drastically. And it's very, very important for y'all Gen Z's to catch on because I'm trying to tell y'all what's in store for y'all 
is not gonna be good. And I'm it's fucked up because I gotta be affected by this shit. I, uh, you know, y'all comment the y'all opinion on that. So, so I think he kind of right in the way. Yeah, he he right in the way. If you ask me, if you ask me, he's right in the way. It's a lot of stuff going on that's affecting the kids. And we gotta we gotta be a good example for them. Let's we gonna be on this platform. Let's be a good example for them. So, you know. Is our wavy? You watching wavy TV? The wavy channel. So y'all tune in, like, comment, subscribe, share.